I was going to make a whole video about this thing called the anxiety cycle for today, but then I got to thinking, this cycle kind of applies to all other emotions as well. So why not extend this topic and just do a mini series about how we respond to our emotions, the maybe unhelpful ways that we respond to our emotions, and of course we'll be talking about more helpful ways that we can respond to our emotions, maybe have a healthier relationship to our emotions so we experience less suffering overall and just improved mental health. So let's get to it. You may or may not have heard of something called the anxiety cycle. Basically, this is where we experience a trigger. This triggers feelings of anxiety, and anxiety is not super pleasant, so we tend to fight with those feelings. And as we're fighting with those feelings, sometimes we try to eliminate them. And this typically looks like engaging in activities called control strategies. Oftentimes, these control strategies do provide some short-term relief from the discomfort from anxiety, which makes us want to engage in them again because it seems like they are helping or that they're working to fix the problem, aka our emotions. But then after that short-term relief, we often see that the distress or the anxiety comes back way stronger the next time that it's triggered or just immediately after that control strategy is engaged in. And this is how we find ourselves in a very vicious cycle. I probably will still do a whole video just on the anxiety cycle, what's going on there, what's going on in the brain during that anxiety cycle, but for this mini series, I'm gonna be just looking at how we respond to emotions as a whole and how this can be a vicious cycle. So drop me a note down in the comments if you're interested in learning specifically about the anxiety cycle and what's going on in the brain. Okay, so this same cycle that I was just talking about pertaining specifically to anxiety kind of happens within just how we respond to other emotions that aren't super pleasant to experience. Things like grief, depression, shame. Unfortunately, because these emotions feel so unpleasant, they are often labeled as negative emotions, which tends to lead us to believe that we are not supposed to be having these emotions or even worse, that there's something wrong with us if we do experience these emotions. But that's just not the case. Every single emotion is a normal part of the human experience. I truly do not know how society got to this point where we believe that we're just not supposed to have pain and suffering in this life. And so when we have pain and suffering, we think it's our fault, it's our problem, that something must be wrong with us because we're experiencing emotions. It's even more unfortunate that this belief has been passed down through generations. So there's multiple generations believing that emotions are bad, or at least that some emotions are bad. And now here we are struggling with something that's just a normal part of the human experience. Control strategies are typically placed into two separate categories. One of them we are trying to kind of avoid or totally escape the unpleasantness, whether that's our thoughts, our emotions, or even the situations themselves. Or we tend to fight with those internal unpleasant feelings, and this can feel like an internal battle. Both of these different categories or different options for control strategies tend to lead to a perpetuation of our suffering, which is not what we're after. So in my next video, I'm gonna be covering different types of control strategies, just so you have a better idea of if you are experiencing or engaging in some of these strategies that you thought were gonna be super beneficial, but maybe aren't as helpful as you thought they were going to be. I'm also gonna be linking a super helpful book down in the description called The Happiness Trap. This book dives much more into the concepts that are gonna be within this mini series. So if you find this information helpful at all, then you're gonna get so much out of this book. I really truly hope that that book, The Happiness Trap, as well as this mini series, is gonna be really helpful for you in just managing these different emotions that we experience on a daily basis. If this information has been helpful for you thus far, or if you're just super eager to learn more about control strategies and how they're playing a role in your life, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. This very small action is so beneficial for myself and this channel and helping this information reach more people. So I really appreciate that. I'll see you next time.